Hello guys, I am your Sir Ariel and today we are going to discuss um, equations of tangent lines and normal lines. In our previous videos, we have discussed differentiation, okay? The different rules in um, differentiations, how to derive explicit and implicit functions. So today we are going to discuss some of the applications of derivatives or differentiation in one of those is the equations of tangent lines and normal lines. So how to find the equations okay, of tangent lines and normal lines. So first we have to um, define the terms. So given here class a graph, so we have here your function. Ito yung graph natin, so that is your function y or your function f of x. Okay? Now po... Um, one of the applications kasi of um, derivative is um, solving for the slope. So the derivative um, is the slope of a tangent to a given curve. Okay? So dito po, ang ibig sabihin ng tangent line wherein ito yon. so that is your tangent, that is the tangent to the graph of a function at a certain point. So, ang tangent line, magta-touch lang sila at one point doon sa function, doon sa graph ng function natin. So, assuming at point, okay, at point x sub 1, y sub 1, okay, may, sa point na yon may magta-touch doon na line. Okay, doon lang sila magta-touch ng graph natin. So, that is called the tangent line. Okay? And then, meron din tayong um, line wherein that is perpendicular to that tangent line to that certain point that is called the normal line. Okay? So, if it is perpendicular, they form, they form 90 degrees. So, this is your normal and this is your tangent. Ngayon, ang, ang, ang purpose natin sa video natin is that we are going to find the equation of this tangent and these normal lines. Okay? So, first, kailangan natin kunin, uh, okay, these are the steps. Okay? Una, kailangan natin kunin yung slope kasi magagamit natin siya doon sa ating equation. Ang gagamitin natin equation is yung equation sa ating analytic geometry na equation ng straight line wherein that is equal to your y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So, ang first is kunin natin si slope. And we know class that the slope is equal to, okay, the first derivative of your function, okay, the derivative of your function, okay, your f of x, okay, um, with respect to x, and then, substitute natin yung value ng ating x sub 1. So, yung sa point of tangency natin, okay? Yung p1 is equal to x sub 1, y sub 1. Substitute natin yung value ng ating x sub 1. So, the first derivative, so kunin mo muna yung derivative class ng curve mo or ng function mo, then substitute mo yung value ni x sub 1. Ito, pwede mong gamitin yung calculator mo. In, input mo lang yung Sa shift, ano yung class? Sa may shift, sa integral, yung baba ng alpha, pag ang gamit mo is 570ES plus. Okay? Um, then, ilagay mo yung certain value doon. Lagay mo lang yung function mo. And then, ang makukuha mo dyan sa first derivative na yan, class, that is the slope of the tangent line. Okay? Ngayon, um, sir, paano naman po yung slope ni normal line? So, since si normal line class is perpendicular sa tangent line natin, ibig sabihin, hindi sila magkaparehas ng slope, magkaiba sila ng slope. Ang slope ngayon ni normal line natin class is equal to, since they are per, uh, it is perpendicular to our tangent line, that is equal to the negative reciprocal of, your, of the slope of the tangent line. So, wag lang kayong mawawala dito. Okay, so steps natin and then simplify the equation, yun na yung magiging sagot natin. So that is now the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve. Okay, let's try this example para maintindihan nyo lalo. So find the equations of the tangent and normal to the curve. So number one, y is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 at the point 2 and 3. So, number one muna tayo, class. 
So solutions. Okay, gawin ko ulit red para ano, uniform yung color natin dito sa problem. So for number 1, you have your y is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. So una, para makuha yung slope natin, kunin muna natin yung kanyang first derivative. Okay, so you have your y prime is equal to, okay, alagay ko yung buong problem, tayo iangat natin siya, at 2, 3. Okay, 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. So, magiging derivative ni 2x squared is 4x and then derivative ni negative 3x is negative 3. Derivative ni 2 is 0. So, ang slope natin, substitute natin yung value ng x natin, that is 2. So, your slope now, and that is equal to the slope of the tangent line to that curve, that is equal to 4 times 2 minus 3, and that is equal to 8 minus 3, that is equal to 5. Okay, um, step 2, we now find the equation of the tangent line. Okay, by using the equation of the straight line that is equal to y minus y sub 1 is equal to your um, slope and then x minus x sub 1. So y minus y sub 1 is equal to 3, okay, my equals um, the slope of the tangent line that is equal to 5 times x minus x sub 1 that is 2. So simplify natin, y minus 3 equals 5x, okay, distribute mo yan, then negative 10. So this is the rule, ayusin natin siya, gawin natin 5x ang mauna lagi, and then dapat positive si 5x. So since positive na si 5x dito sa right, si y tsaka 3 na lang i-move natin sa right. Okay? So, magiging 5x, then si y, transpose ko sa right, magiging negative y. Then, we have negative 10. Si negative 3, transpose ko sa right, magiging positive 3, then equate to 0. Then, simplifying further, we have your 5x minus y minus 7 is equal to 0. So, that is now the equation of the tangent line. And then yung next naman is the equation, okay, of your normal line. So, same equation, y minus y sub 1 equals the um, slope of the normal line wherein that is equal to the negative reciprocal of your tangent line times x minus x sub 1. So, what is your mn? That is the negative reciprocal of your tangent line. And that is equal to negative 1 all over. So, the your mt is 5. So, that is negative 1 fifth. So, so uh, substitute na natin yung formula. Ay, yung mga values natin sa formula natin. y minus y sub 1. You have your 3 equals mn. That is negative 1 fifth times x minus x sub 1. That is 2. Okay. Um, para maayos to, itong negative 1 fifth, i-multiply ko lahat sa 5 para matanggal si 5 dyan, para hindi magulo. So, both side natin siya i-multiply kay 5. So, that is 5y minus 15. So, matatanggal na si negative 1, ay si 5, makancel out na siya. So, mayroon pa tayong naiwan na negative 1. So, negative 1 times x, that is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 2, that is positive 2. So, simplify natin. Sabi natin, unahin natin si x. Para uh, gawin natin siyang positive. So, ilipat ko siya sa left. Kaya maging x. Then, carry na natin si 5y. And then, negative 15. Lipat ko sa left. Si positive 2. Magiging negative 2 equals 0. So, you have x plus 5y minus 17 is equal to 0. So, ganyan lang siya kadali. Okay. So, basta alam mo yung mga formula mo, hindi ka mawawala. Okay? So, sagutan natin si number 2. What's problem number 2? That is y equals 2x, uh, 2 all over x. So, number 2 tayo. Number 2. y equals 2 all over x. Ano yun? At point. 1, 2. Okay? At 
one and two. Okay, you try to pause this video and then answer nyo and then you play again pag natapos nyo. Okay, so first step again, we solve for the first derivative. So y prime is equal to, okay, x squared, law, derivative ni high, minus high, derivative ni law. So that is equal to negative 2 all over x squared. Then our slope now, okay, slope, where that is equal to the slope of your tangent line, is that we substitute yung value ng ating x sub 1, which is 1, okay, sa ating first derivative. That's equal to negative 2 all over 1. That's equal to negative 2. Okay? So, letter B, equation of the tangent line na tayo. We use the equation of the straight line y minus y sub 1 equals your mt times x minus x sub 1. So, y now minus y sub 1, you have your 2 equals mt that is negative 2 times x minus x sub 1 that is 1. So, y minus 2 now is equal to negative 2x plus 2. Tama ba? Negative 2x minus 1. So, simplify further. Lipat ko sa kabila si 2, eh, negative 2x para maging positive 2x plus y. Then, itong 2 na to, pag nilipat ko sa ka left, maging negative 2. So, negative 2 minus 2, that is negative 4, equals 0. So, that is now the equation of the tangent line. So, for the equation of the normal line, medyo maingay yung aso sa kapitbahay. Equation of the normal line, okay, um, y minus y sub 1 is equal to the slope of the normal line times x minus x sub 1. So, ang slope, the normal line natin is the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line. So, that is negative 1 all over ang tangent line is negative 2. So, that is equal to positive 1 half. Okay? So, y minus y sub 1, 2 equals positive 1 half times x minus x sub 1, that is 1. Okay? So, multiply natin lahat sa 2. So, magiging 2y minus 4 equals x minus 1. So, simplify natin. x, lipat ko si 2y. So, negative 2y equals negative 1. Ilipat ko si negative 4 sa kabila. Magiging positive 4. So, positive 4 plus negative 1, that is positive 3. So, plus 3 equals 0. Tama ba? x minus 2y and then plus 3 equals 0. So, that is the equation of the normal line. So, hope you learned something from this video.